Hey Wanderers, welcome to our room. Come on in, we are in Tower 1 at Bonnet Creek. Uh, and I like to tell you the tower because we've never stayed here before, but each tower can be a little different with Towers 1 through 7. And of course, as always, you're going to have me, myself, Matt with my beautiful wife, Erin, and our traveling companion, our service dog, Bo, which is the first thing I want to address with you guys. We've been to a whole lot of resorts with them, and this is the first time, and I actually really like this, that uh, if you have a service animal, you're supposed to go claim that service animal. One of the telltale signs when somebody just says, oh, it's a dog service dog, but they didn't actually check it in, you are required to check those in. They actually give you a green tag for your leash, so people should know you checked your dog in, and a tag for the door. Typically in the past, I've just hung up this tag that's on every door on the outside so staff knows, uh, you know, I don't want turn down service or anything like that. In this case, they give you one that says specific service animal, specifically service animal inside. And I think that is actually great because uh, he's registered to be checked in here and it does wonderful. All right, so on to the room. So first of all, let me tell you, we'll get some tips and tricks. And we got a few to share with you in our next video about this place we've already figured out. Uh, we did get a two bedroom suite. We only booked a one-bedroom deluxe, but we did receive the upgrade to a two-bedroom. So let me start with just the main living room here. So this is it. We are on the second floor. If you come over here, you think maybe laundry in the living room? Mm, not so much. You just got a nice storage closet, uh, which works out. Vacuum, which would be great for his hair. You know, <laughs> close up there, buddy. And you have a nice kitchen right here. The kitchen's ample. Do you want to talk about the kitchen all being I might miss? I mean... It's got what you need. Nope, it's your basic Wyndham kitchen, just like you get at any unit where you're gonna come in. You're gonna have the ice maker, you have to turn it on. You're gonna Actually, have your fridge. Did you turn it on? And you're going to get that pitcher on the door. Then you have your toaster. You're gonna have your items such as the coffee maker <laughs> and you're going to have the blender you're going to get your standard items like the coffees and then in various places around the unit you're going to find your items for doing your dishes ours happen to be under the sink this time sometimes they are on the counter you're going to have your knives your baking items usually they're kind of hidden around right now everything seems to be disappearing so um, but you have your standard pots and pans and if you need something, don't hesitate to call and request it because they likely have it. One thing that I really like about this unit is that the dining room is right here off the kitchen and they have a little buffet table here, which we don't often see in a two bedroom unit. So that's really nice that there's a buffet table there just to kind of set either items up in a way that you don't want the kids to get into. Or if you brought games or items from home, that's a great additional storage space in that living area. Uh, one thing I'll say is it's a little more compact than other two bedrooms I've done. I feel like the other two bedrooms have got a little more space, but this will definitely do. Living room is really nice. You got some comfortable furniture, some, you know, typical artwork that they'd have on the walls, etc., etc. A decent sized TV with a, you know, good viewing angles to watch that. Uh, we have a nice, really large balcony here, which I'll let you kind of take a look at that overlooks the lake. I do not know if this is one we'll be able to see the fireworks from. I'm a little skeptical on that, but we'll check that out later. But nice overlook, nice view. Beats a parking lot view, which is our other option. If you come into here, this would be the master bedroom. Another pro tip, always check that. They crank it up to like 73. Nobody wants to live that way, right? So come into our, our master bedroom. Again, nice lake view. The only thing is, you are really close to walkways with people. If you can see them really well, they can see you really well. So do keep that in mind at bedtime. I probably want those, you know, shades drawn. Uh, decent TV in here. Some dresser for storage. Pretty, pretty typical we're used to seeing. Uh, over here. You also have your nightstands. These are equipped with outlets in them. Not mm -hmm. USB ports. Some of them have USB ports. So just check. You have your jacuzzi tub, which is always the request by me that we get. Um, I like to soak after any time we do long walks or hiking and do Epsom salts. We'll be doing Disney this trip. Yep. So to be able to kind of do an Epsom salt soak after hitting 20,000 steps a day for multiple days will be appreciated. I'll probably even share in that myself. Not at the same time though. This was a family channel. Uh, and here you just have your basic bedroom closet. I kind of like it's actually out of the bedroom and in here it gives a little more space. You do have a wall safe. So if you bring anything you feel the need to stick in there, you've got that. And I suitcase rack that I never actually use. But that is there, so we'll get to move into that here shortly. And then you've got one sink in here, single vanity, 
uh, which sounds kind of like a bummer, but it's not so bad because you have another one in here. So, <laughs> this is one of my favorite things about, ooh, you can get acoustics in here if you try. I could actually get an echo going on. Is having two separate sinks, so we can both get ready for our day at the same time. We're not tripping over each other with our stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there's a nice shower in here. Why don't and you check out the shower head? How tall is it, and how tall are you for reference? So I'm about five foot nine. So maybe no, I'm kidding. I am. Oh, you turned on the. the I turned on the, the light fan. above you. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be perfect. I'm six two, guys. So this is probably good up to about six three, six four, without any issue. So I, I think it's a, a good shower head. No issues there, unless you're, you know, playing for the Celtics or something. Uh, so let's come, or you could be playing for Toronto Raptors, like my man Marquise Noel, and you could still fit in that shower. Just saying. A uh, little quick Wildcat shout out there. So if you come on this way, since we did get the two bedroom upgrade, I'll share that other bedroom with you in the bathroom. There's a few reasons why we like getting these upgrades. One, we do have some family in the air, so we allow them to possibly stay with us if they choose. Before um, we kind of visit that, I want to talk about something I like, which is that the washer and dryer is not in the master bathroom or in another bedroom in right. this unit. That's really nice. Nobody likes having the washer or dryer going while they're trying to go to bed or in their unit when they're trying to get going for the day. So it's nice that it's yep. out in the main living area. It's also a big space. I mean, if you can look. You know, usually these are in a pretty tight space, but if you needed to store your bags or something, you didn't want to put them in your college room, you could put them in here pretty easy, which is really, really nice. And then so, what's behind you? Well, this is the restroom. This is bathroom number two. Okay. So this is a pretty good space. Kind of wide in here. And again, you have a nice shower, same shower head, not as big of a shower, more basic bathroom on the second bathroom. Here's why I really like this. I'm just going to paint a picture for you. When you have that big bathroom that's right attached to your bedroom, sometimes there's things you have to do that you probably don't want somebody to click. You know what I mean? So this way you have another place to do that. And the bedroom stays uh, more harmonious for everybody to sleep in or be in. So just kind of a nice thing to have two bathrooms. This and one, then how tall is the shower in this one? <laughs> we're going to do the shower. Yeah, let's all. check it so out. It looks like about the same. Again, six foot two. Actually, this is a little shorter. I'm still good to go. I have no problem in here. But if I was any taller, I'd probably have to start getting down a little bit. So probably get up to about 6'4", be the tallest you want to be on that one before it's annoying. And then in here, so this connects to the master, I'm sorry, not the master, but the secondary bedroom, which is right here. Uh, this one has two beds, which is pretty typical. And you're going to want this. Here's the reason why you want two beds. I mean, if you have another couple traveling with you, sometimes you can get one that just has a single bed in here, like another king which would be nice, but if we had a king bed, technically this unit would only sleep six. It's two people per bed, right? Uh, here it sleeps eight. Our bed's two, two, two. You ain't putting two people on this bed, I get that. And the couch bed, two. So you can have up to eight people. This will fit a large family that way. You know, again, more lake view, but obviously not as on balcony here. Just, just a good view of the lake, uh, but really close to people. That's kind of how it works. And another nice closet space. No safe in this one, only one safe per room. All right, guys, that is pretty much the room tour for Bonnet Creek Tower Number One in, I, and this is actually in the Disney Gates of Florida. You want to say almost Orlando or Kissimmee, but the truth of the matter is, if you've never been to Disney, and I haven't been since I was in high school, you know, a lot of people, hey, come on, not mine. Uh, a lot of people, that's not mine either. <laughs> A lot of people want to stay, you know, on a Disney property so it can be really close. We are inside the Disney gates. We are by all the other Disney properties. So you are in a really, really good place for that. You will not get all the Disney amenities. So what I mean is you're not going to get the early check-in to the parks. You're not going to get certain things like that. But everything else you're going to have. So, uh, all right, honey, any questions? Um, what are some of the amenities on property here that people are going to get? So there's multiple pools, multiple playground areas, mini golf, all kinds of things here. So there's a ton of stuff that you can do. As a matter of fact, I think they gave us a little map. Now, this isn't all stuff that we're going to consistently use. I thought they did. Yeah. Yep, right here. Oh, right there. Wrong map. Boop. So you can kind of look here. And I'll kind of tell you, we're Tower 1, so we're right there, correct? That is us. You have, uh, there's a parking garage if you wanted a garage. We happened to be able to park right outside our tower. That was really nice. 
So there is definitely multiple pools, pool, 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 uh, pool. Where we're at, not a big pool thing, but there's a playground and miniature golf. We very well could take advantage of the miniature golf more than we would take advantage of anything else. Another large pool there. So if you're in Tower 1, a little bit of a walk to any pool, but not bad. Um, you have a boardwalk over here that goes out over the lake. We'll probably check that out at some point in time. And that's just kind of kind of how it looks. There's a fitness center here as well. And then uh, there is a separate hotel. So there's a, a resort and a Wyndham uh, Bonnet Creek, Wyndham Grand Bonnet Creek Hotel that are kind of sharing some of the same property but are separate when you check in they will ask you which one you're with actually so uh, speaking of checking in when you first get here you have to go through a security gate we've seen that at some windows nashville does that this place does that uh, they will make sure you're on the list to, to check in send you through and then once you get your armband you can just use your armband to check in afterwards until your armband expires i think that kind of wraps up our room tour anything you want to add dear nope that's it all right, guys, thanks for watching, and thanks for wandering with us.